Hi YouTube, it's Alan Sugano. I'm the president of ADS Consulting Group and today's topic is about upgrading domain controllers. So we've had, uh, and you probably know this, but Windows uh, Server 2012 and 2012 R2 went end of life in uh, October 10th of 2023. So you should be off of them by now and have them retired by now. Um, that's really important. And by the way, if you need help upgrading your DCs or uh, retiring any of your 2012 servers, you can send an email to info at adscon.com. But anyway, uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, one method we've been using to update domain controllers and it's worked out fantastically. So what we ended up doing is, uh, let's, let's keep it simple. You have two domain controllers, you need to upgrade both of them. What we'll do is we'll stand up a new server and then we'll um, uh, not we'll join it to the domain then we'll take one of the domain controllers and promo it down demote it DC promo it down make it a member server then we'll change the IP address of the the old domain controller to a different IP address in the same subnet of course then we'll take that new server that's going to be the new domain controller and give it the IP um, of the old domain controller and then we'll go in with server manager, right? Install the uh, domain controller role and DNS and DHCP or whatever's uh, appropriate for that server. And then we'll DC promo it up. By doing that, effectively what you're doing is, is uh, it's a little bit slightly more work, but the advantage of that is then you don't have to flip any IP addresses for DNS on Windows. Uh, so which can save a lot of time, especially if you, you have a lot of computers on your network. Uh, so we've used this method many, many times already, and um, it actually works really, really well. And uh, we haven't had an issue with it at all. Um, the only downside, I guess, would be if you only had, you're supposed to have at least two domain controllers, right? If you only have two domain controllers, there's a short time, maybe half an hour, where if you, when you DC, pro down, DC promo down the old domain controller, and then you DC promo up the new domain controller, you're flying... A little naked because you only have one DC. Uh, and by the way, once you start this process, you pretty much need to finish it within a relatively, you know, within an hour or two is what we recommend. So pick a time when you know you can start and then have enough time to finish and not just, you know, get distracted or whatever. So anyway, we've we've done this. Uh, oh, and by the way, the other reason you somebody might say, well, why can't you just, you know, DC promo up the server, create a d domain control, and then change the IP? Yeah, you could. 99 times out of 100, it will break the domain controller catastrophically. So that's why the trick is to flip the IP before you promo it up. Now, there's other ways, to, there's ways around that. You can do a burr flag reset or the equivalent on um, DFSR but it's kind of a PETA. So we recommend that you just um, flip the IP before you DC promo up that domain control. You'll have just a lot fewer problems. So anyway, if you like this content, please boink, hit the subscribe button, boink, hit the like button. If you need help upgrading your DCs or anything else for that matter in your network, you can send an email to info at adscon.com. Thanks a lot for listening. Stay safe out there. Well, good luck upgrading your domain controls and we'll talk to you soon.